Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to the work of the Galapagos Conservation Trust and by way of example the Plastic Pollution Free Galapagos Programme. GCT is the only UK charity to focus solely on the conservation of the Galapagos Islands and it's been doing so for 25 years working in partnership with the authorities, NGOs and leading scientists and the local community to respond to key threats facing the islands. And one such threat is the global problem of marine plastics. These beaches on San Cristobal Island are only a few minute boat ride apart, one pristine, one heavily polluted. And since 2017, GCT has been working with local partners and international scientists to understand where this rubbish is coming from and what to do about it. There's now real hope that the programme vision is realistic and achievable. And that vision is, a Galapagos marine reserve which is free from the threat of marine plastics, one that provides the world with an example of how to tackle this global problem, a regional scale model of hope for all protected areas. And it's vitally important that we manage this, as we now know that even in Galapagos, arguably one of the most protected areas of the planet, there are at least 32 species that are rare and vulnerable that are being impacted by marine plastics. And there has been real progress towards the goal. We now know much more about the quantities of rubbish, the types of rubbish, where it goes to, and importantly, where it comes from than we did when we started the program. New machine learning technology is helping us trace the sources and movements of plastic. It's showing where efforts should focus including which mainland catchments and highlights the role of international industrial fishing fleets in contributing to pollution in Galapagos. The next four years are about building on this knowledge and trialling solutions with the relevant communities, authorities and industries. Experts now believe that Galapagos is best placed of anywhere in the world to become a global example of how a marine reserve can tackle marine plastic pollution. Here's a quick summary of our journey to date. This exciting programme of work is the result of an international network of partners under the leadership of the Directorate of the Galapagos National Park.